hello you all so welcome back to my channel thank you all for tuning in so here today i am going to show you all how i prepare my images for sublimation so someone hit me up and requested that i do a tutorial showing how they can set everything up so i do use photoshop so here i am going to open photoshop all right so create new and depending on your image size or your canvas size, that's going to determine the size of your um, lay your the size of your canvas. So here you can change the size if you want, but I'm going to just stick with 8.5 by 11 because I'm just going to do a tumbler. So I always keep my resolution at 600. Um, I never change anything over here. I just keep it as is. All right. So create new. I'm going to go to file, open, and I'm going to do MK. All right, you all, you may hear my toddler in the background. I'm trying to keep her busy with cocoa melon. So I'm going to do this MK tumbler. So open this. All right, here we go. So I'm going to change the image size. So for my tumbler size, I always do 9.3 by 8.15. And of course, when it comes to tumblers, they can all be different sizes, even though the... Um, Capacity may be 20 ounce or 30 ounce. They can be different sizes. So make sure you measure your tumblers. Um, so I am going to have to flip the entire image, but before I do that, I want to add another layer. So I'm going to go to File, Open, and I want to add a, a lady onto this tumbler. So let's see. I want her to wear either blue or black. Let me see who I can get to first. Oh, bam, blue. Okay, there we go. So in order for me to add her, I'm going to drag her from the layer panel. And someone did ask me, how do you change her shape size? Um, I'm sorry, as far as making her a slimmer or a taller or whoever. So I go to edit, free transform. And here I can make her a taller because I want her to be a little taller. And then... I can change her, I can make her a little thicker, you know, just do do whatever it works. Play around with it. All right, so here we go. So I'm going to come back over here, so I'm going to have her like this. So before I can rotate this image, I need to merge the two layers, layer one and layer two, not the background. So I don't want to flatten it, I just want to merge the layers. So there we go. So now you see, now they're both layered too. So now we only have one full layer. All right, so I'm gonna go to image, rotate, image rotation, 90 degrees. So that um, that rotated both the, the image and the canvas. So now I'm gonna go back up here and change the size of the canvas. I'm gonna do 8.5 by 11 again and I could have done it from over here but it doesn't matter all right so now here we go now it is ready to print so I go to file print now here we go so I'm going to change it yes there we go 8.5 by 11 um you, you know I have it I have my preset set I have the 8.5 by 11 11 by 17 or 13 by 19 depending on what size I want to use so I'm just going to stick with 8.5 by 11. As far as layout, go to go to color matching. Um, I use Epson color controls. Paper handling, not really important, but I just have it set on automatic. Cover page, no cover page. We don't even need to go through all these. Okay, print settings. Here we go. So I use premium presentation paper mats, and it's depending on what paper you're using because right now in my printer I have Crafting Besties. Um, so this is why I have it on premium presentation paper matte and best quality. However, when I use um, blanks galore, I have it on plain. I use plain bright white paper and um, best quality. So it just depends on what paper you're using and what the recommended settings are for that paper. And then I'm going to mirror my image. All right. So that's my print settings. Now here we go, color options. These are my color options that I use. So I do Adobe RGB 2.2 and I keep everything on zero. However, when I am printing red, I change it everything, I'm sorry, not everything, but I change my brightness, contrast, and saturation 
to negative five. And then I hit save and print from there. And I only do that for my reds in order to get a more deeper looking red. Because I don't know, for some reason when it comes to reds and sublimation, sometimes they want to look pink, sometimes they want to look or orange. And I try to get them to look as red as red can get. So because this is blue, I'm just going to keep this on zero. And then just save everything and then hit print and then everything is good to go. So I hope you all got something from this video. Please um, feel free to ask any questions that you may have. But as always, I definitely appreciate you all. Please feel free to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thank you. Bye.